Should you pivot or stay the course? Let me tell you the story about Slack and Stuart Butterfield. Stuart Butterfield created a video game company called Game Never Ending. And the video game had some users, but it wasn't a massive success. And so the team decided to pivot and really focus on what the users were using. And that product eventually became Flickr. So after the success of Flickr, Stuart Butterfield again goes back and this time he creates a glitch. Because they had so many remote workers, the team was so spread out, they had to create an internal messaging tool. And so the team again had to decide, should we continue working on this video game company or should we pivot and really focus in on this internal messaging tool? That tool eventually becomes Slack and Slack is now a multi-billion dollar company. So what does this mean for you? This means that you have to listen to your users and figure out what they're actually doing because hidden underneath your product may be the real core value that you can provide to your users.